So it can be a challenging time for teachers who are expected to suddenly change from teaching in the classroom to distance-based teaching and learning. Just Do Easy can help teachers stay connected with their pupils and parents. We can help teachers provide resources and worksheets for the right pupils. We can help teachers provide engaging activities and most importantly, we can help provide opportunities for children to develop their knowledge and understanding through creativity in a safe environment. To help you get started really quickly, I am going to take you through the basics of using Just Too Easy in under 15 minutes. In that time, you will learn how to log in, navigate around, instantly share many types of resources with your pupils and even support them with their progress in learning. Let's get started with the basics, getting on to Just Too Easy first. Visit the website j2e.com and you will see a sign in page. You simply need your school name, username and password to get on. Because Just Too Easy is a personalised learning environment, every pupil and teacher will have their own username and password. And for young learners, you can even have a QR code, which means they won't need to type in a web address, school name, username or even a password. Really simple and easy for them to log in. Once you've signed in, you will come to your launchpad for everything in Just Too Easy. Now, there's loads here to choose from, but in this getting started session, we're going to concentrate on three main things. Uploading resources, sharing them with pupils, and how to check on your pupils' progress at any time. On your launch page, the very first tile you see is My Files. This is exactly what it says. It's your files, private, all yours. Think about it as a virtual memory stick. Anything you store here can be accessed from anywhere you sign in to Just Too Easy. Click on My Files to see the files you have stored here. If you have none, you can add any file of any type, including videos, photos, audio, PDFs, and documents of any type here, just by drag and drop. Open a browser from your desktop or laptop and simply drag the item into the folder. Go ahead and try. Just drag and drop and you will see the file appear ready to use in your My Files. Whatever the file, Just Too Easy will allow you to view it within Just Too Easy. With documents, you will even be able to edit them directly within Just Too Easy too. Now you can share this file with pupils or other teachers or anyone you wish. Do you see the file in my screen? If I hold my pointer over the file, a little green eye appears. Now when I click share, I can choose the pupil, class, year group, or even the whole school to share it with. Pupils will see the file has been shared with them when they log in with a notification in their shared files area. Once a pupil opens that file that you've shared with them, it will automatically save a copy of it for themselves to use. Perhaps they want to add some edits they've made, which will automatically go in their own My Files for when they want to return to it at any time. One really easy way to share work with your pupils is by making a J2E5 document. J2E5 is a document that is super easy to use. Let's make a quick document and show you. First, I open the J2E5 tile from the launch page. Now I can click to type anywhere on the page. I may want to write out the objectives first at the top and then some instructions and leave the rest of the page for pupils to contribute their own work in their own document. For example, uh, for an activity, I want to set out the objective that pupils can research and compare different planets in the solar system, for example. I will add the words by typing here and then I can drag it around, resize it and put a box around it too if I want to. I'll then add a table for children to add pictures and information for themselves. Adding pictures is simple as you don't even need to leave this page. Click here on the picture button, click here on the right hand side for the web search and type in your search. What shows up are copyright free usable images. Drag any picture you wish from the menu straight into the page and double click to make it bigger or smaller or put it anywhere you want. This is just a planet example, but you could use it for a presentation about rivers, about the day at home, what you have in the kitchen cupboard and how many extra packets of pasta are currently squirreled there, perhaps. 
once you are ready to share it, click save and give it a name. Files are always saved to your My Files. So there's no hunting around for your files ever. Remember to put your mouse over it and hey presto, there's the share button so you can share it with your class. Now, on to other types of document. Do you have a PDF you may want to share with your pupils too? Here's how you can share any PDF with your pupils and even let them annotate on it. Here's a great example of a PDF. It's a multi-page document that would normally need to be printed out if a pupil is going to use it. We're going to upload it into your Just Too Easy site and share it with pupils so they can read it and write in it and save it as their own work. On your launch page, open J2PDF. Simply drag your PDF from your browser onto the page and watch it upload. Once it's uploaded, you will see if there are multiple pages to your document here by clicking on the Pages tab at the top. Now, when your pupils see the doc, they will see it in shared files. When they open it, they can write in it, annotate it, draw and add anything they need to. And yes, when they save it, the document will go straight in their own My Files so they can come back to it at any time. Teaching via webcam is a difficult task to master and a far more productive venture for distance teaching is asynchronous learning. Create the learning experience for students to work through at their own pace. A very handy little feature in J2B5 to facilitate this is the voice recording function. In J2B5, if you're making the document first to share with your pupils, you can easily click record here and speak your instructions, leaving it on the page for your pupils to listen to. This could be an explanation of the task or to add extra focus to an explanation of the method involved. To add a degree of normality to your pupils' learning day at home, you may also like to use j 5 as a way to share general information with your classes. An update of the day's activities, perhaps, or a story that you're reading with them. Why not take a photo of a story and read the page to the class? Or encourage your pupils to listen to your story and then rewrite it themselves. They can use all the tools in j 2 to make a book cover or a montage of images that describe a passage in the story, perhaps. Or you can use J2B5 to send class-specific information to parents to help them support their children in learning from home. For young children, encourage them to explore the JIT5 tile, that's the Just Too Easy Infant Tools tile, for drawing, writing, animating and much more. J2B5 is a super easy to use tool and your pupils will very quickly work out many of the fun ways to use it to present their work and celebrate their learning with you from a distance. Yes, share it with you because every time a pupil saves their work it goes always in their My Files and yes you can visit their My Files at any time. On your launch page you have a tile called Pupil Files. This is where you can see all the work that you, your pupils have done. You can open any piece of work by clicking on your class, seeing the pupils there and clicking on their work. Maybe you want to suggest to your pupils that when you do write on their work, you use a specific colour at all times so they know it's you that wrote it in their work. You can write in their document or even record into it yourself too. So quite simply, as you view their work, it's, if it's not there, it's because they haven't done it, because it always stores it in that place. If you want to give two-way feedback to your pupils, notice that there is a little speech bubble above a student's work before you click on it. Here, you can have a private chat with any pupil, either in typing or recording your voice message for a truly personal approach. Now, this is the first video for getting started with distance teaching with Just Too Easy. Please do follow us on Facebook or Twitter or both for more support, ideas and activities too. Stay safe and well, everybody.